this is the orbicularis oculi, this is the orbicularis oris, and this is the mentalis mesel, which I'm lifting up. And you'll come across in this particular region, this is, will be the Adam's apple, and you little bit search here, you'll come across the thyroid gland is enclosed here. You have your other particular muscles, this is the middle masseter here, and um, the sternocleidal mastoid, which is just here, not proper. This, in general spotters, we do have all this stuff. You can observe here that this is the sternocleidal mastoid muscle, even the most important muscles out here. And uh, the commonest spot we get here will be the frontal layer sinus, then you have the spinoidal layer sinus, spinoid model rhesus, <coughs> this is the cerebrum, and uh, this will be the uh, corpus callosum, the cerebellum with the arbor vitae, you've got your pons medulla oblongata, the entire spinal cord here, the intervertebral joints here, and do you have the heart palate, the genioglossus here, the genioglossus is comparatively very important muscle, commonest spotter, the soft palate, opening of the auditory tube, the epiglottis is present here, epiglottis, this particular version. This is the commonest spot, things what we see here, the, uh, this might be the foramen magnum, is the foramen magnum, where the spinal cord is just entering inside. And uh, invariably, we have the same spotter, this particular region and also this in this the same spotter here I can show you many things which I just want to show you the cerebrum cerebellum this is cerebellum same structures glosses. here we have the thyroid gland this is the thyroid gland the Adam's apple which I just showed you that side the Antribelli of diagastic. So obviously this is the face part. The eye here can observe the eye. And um, this person is an edentulous, so he had no teeth. You can observe this particular thing. The tongue, very important structure. Tongue shows many features. You can observe here. This is the tip of the tongue. This is the dorsum. They have got the further papillary part. This might be the uh, glottis. I'll just I'll do it like this. Yeah, here we can easily upper the papillary part with lots of papillae. So, compared papillae are 12 in number with uh, microscopic in nature. This palate is completely edentulous person and uh, this is the brain. As usual, spotters remain the same. There's nothing as much different in the spotters. And uh, here, parotid gland, parotid duct. The duct, the gland is well, excised here. This is the parotid gland. Parotid duct, the submandibular gland. The mandible internal part here, here, here. This is the mandible internal part with the artery, the inferior alveolar artery, which I just talked about. It's present here completely. It's going inside and comes out as mental artery, which is near the junction of the premolar arts. Main thing the spotters will be uh, doing this particular thing that is uh, a sinus, a nasal cavity with the concars here, the spinoidal erythmoid rhesus, the cerebrum, the soft palate, heart palate, genioglossus, mylohyoid. This will be the mylohyoid muscle, the floor of the oral cavity. The first vertebral joint will be the atlanto occipital, atlanto axial intervertebral joints here. And um, this, this is just how they, uh, it's just present here, everything. This is the epiglottis. Identify the gland, give its blood supply. This is spot number one. So, identification, it should be the submandibular gland, which has been excised. So, the first spot answer is submandibular gland. If it was kept here, it would have been thyroid gland. Here, sternocleidomastoid. Here, parotid gland. Tooth will be identify the pinned area and M2 sinus is opening. This is the nasal cavity. You've got your hiatus semilunaris with many of the frontal, middle, ethmoid layer sinuses opening there. The maxillary layer sinus opens in this particular region. It's not clearly seen, but this is what it is the spotter here. When you spot number three, identify the pin structure, give its nerve supply. 
junior glosses. The easiest spot you can get, this is the junior glosses with its nurse supply, which you have, the students have to write here. Spot number four. Identify the pin structure, give its action. This will be the soft palette. Soft palette, this is what the spotter is, the soft palette. And actually, the students have to describe how it moves and helps in the deglutition uh, method and other things. Spot number five. Identify the pin structure of tongue, give its function. This is the tip of the tongue. The answer should be particularly tip of the tongue because tongue has got a tip body and the uh, oral and pharyngeal parts and the root of the tongue is completely attached towards the hyoid bone. So this is the tip of the tongue. It is free, lies between the incisors. Spot number six will be identify the pin sinus. Where is it open? This is the answer. If it was here, it would have been frontal ear cells opening in the this particular region, the agonacy region, the nasal cavity. And so the spotter here will be the spinodal ear sinus. Spot number seven, identify the gland, give it split supply, parotid gland. Parotid gland with its duct, very easy answer. The submandibular gland, the only major gland which is identified is this. Very easily identifiable parotid. The word para means around, around otic means ear. Spot number eight, identify the foramen structures passing through it. The easiest, in the mandible you have two foramens. The mental foramen as well as the mandibular foramen. So, this spotter is the mental foramen, very easy and the structures passing out through it is the mental artery which, with its nerve and a vein. Spotter number nine, identify the structures passing through this part. So this is a hard spot. So here we have incisive foramen, very easiest one to be identified with the incisive nerve coming out, it's cover, greater palatine, lesser palatine, ovi, your foramen lacerum, magnum, jugular are all the favorites here. It's one of my favorite uh, spotters, which I generally keep always whenever I go. Name, identify the colored suture. Colored suture, okay, often the chalk has been used here. This is it. This is the colored suture, metopic suture. The answer should be metopic suture. Its importance, it is present in the fetal skull, it disappears or ossifies as the age goes on. Thank you.